certainly didn't stop uh, Campbell Brown winning. 200 metres, first race of the day. So inside lane, Yang Yang. World Indoor Silver Medalist, three-time National Indoor Champion. Lane number two, we're going to have Mike Rogers. He too is past 30, 31 years of age now. Mike, World Championship silver medalist, World Indoor silver medalist, two-time national champion. Distinctive headband. Yang Yang, no recorded time this season as yet. Mike Rogers has produced a 10.03. Personal best of 9.85. Justin Gatlin, fresh from a 9.94 in Shanghai. Olympic champion, two-time world champion, two-time world indoor champion. Isaiah Young, 10.03 this season. Has gone under 10 seconds, 9.99. And there is a real threat to Gatlin, Amit Oganodi. 9.91 this year. And personal best for him. DeAndre Batson of the United States, 10.28 so far in 2016. Can go a lot faster than that. Aston Beldman from Trinidad and Tobago. Olympic silver medalist and an Olympic bronze from the relays. Zhang Paimeng of China. World Championship silver, Asian Games gold. Two time Asian champ. 10 44 this season. And on the outside, Xi Zhenye. 10.31 this year, World Championship silver medalist in the relay and an Asian Games goal to his name. Mike Rogers in lane two. Justin Gatlin in lane three. Isaiah Young in four. Femi Oganodi in five. And off. Oh, I was going to say. Well, I certainly didn't see any full start there. This will be interesting. Someone near side, perhaps. Oh, I didn't see any full starts. Well, they're going to sort this one out. The runners sauntering back. Deliberation amongst uh, the judges. We're going to a look at the readouts. Reaction times. It's DeAndre Batson shaking his head. 
can almost understand it. Uh, certainly to the naked eye. That start looked okay. TV producers found his scapegoat. We still haven't heard anything yet. And it's Batson who gets the warning. So at the second time of asking then, the men's 100 metres. Lanes two, three, four and five, the obvious takers. Gatlin in three. Okunoda in lane five. Well, this time, oh, they don't get away. This time they get away. That's what I was about to say. And once again, I have to admit. Oh, there was a bit of movement on the inside. Could be Yang Yang who goes for this. Well, our producer has picked uh, Oganoda. Oh, nervous wait here for somebody. Not uh, the ideal preparation. Any of the athletes. Eager to find out if there's going to be a disqualification here. Oh, still, they're undecided. waiting patiently mm. 
Hi everyone. Hoping that uh, we'll get a show down in Rio between Gatlin and uh, Usain Bolt, of course. Bolt due to run on Friday at the next World Challenge event. And DeAndre Batson has been given a red card. He can't believe it. And I must say, I didn't see that at all. I didn't see the first one. I did see some movement in the second one, but uh, not from Batson. Well, the crowd almost apologetically applauding DeAndre Batson. Well, that's a strange one. Have to uh, trust the technique, I suppose. He's not a happy man, DeAndre Batson. Come all this way and not be given the chance to run. So, somewhat depleted field now. Just the eight. Gatlin remains, as does Oganoda. Rogers as well in the mix. In lane two, easy to identify. With the neon yellow. Sleeve. Well, this time they do get away. Not the greatest of starts from Gatlin, but he's starting to motor now. Rogers is right on his shoulder, but Gatlin is out in front and takes the win ahead of Rogers. Poor race from Femi Oganoda. Nowhere to be seen. Not a great start from Gatlin, but he started to motor after about a third of the race. And he's all smiles now, 9.94 equals his time from the weekend in Shanghai. And another sub-10 from Gatlin. So the favourite in the men's race, also living up to his billing. And Rogers pushing him for most of that race, right on his shoulder. Let's see what happened to Oganoda. Already way behind at this stage. Fourth and going backwards. Poor race from him. Catlin still accelerating as he went over the line by the look of things. He looked as though he took it easy at the weekend. Had to work for it this time. Rogers putting in a decent shift here. Pressing his countrymen. And third spot, by the look of things, going to Isaiah Young. And uh, everyone clamouring to get an autograph from Justin Gatlin. Well, let's see if uh, Usain Bolt comes up with an answer. Next up on the World Challenge calendar is a trip to Ostrava in the Czech Republic for the uh, classic Golden Spike meet on Friday. It's time for us to uh, say goodbye from Beijing, from myself and the athletes here. It's been another great evening of athletics. This is Simon Wilcox then signing off from Beijing. Good night and bye-bye for now.